In previous versions of PowerMill, if we wished to apply a clearance to the tool and tool holder, we only had one way of doing that, by entering in the clearance value on the tool holder profile tab. Now, in PowerMill 2012, we have the ability to enter in a separate shank clearance to a separate tool holder clearance. The implications for this can be seen in this toolpath that has been created in PowerMill 2012 using just one clearance. When I do a dynamic section through this pocket, we can clearly see what the implications for this are. Straightforward cross section of the pocket. When I position the tool at that point in the pocket, we can see that the tool holder is the three millimeters away or more, absolutely no problem. But when we look at the shank, we can see there's a big gap there between the shank and the wall of the job. However, PowerMill is giving me a tool status that's red, as saying it's unsafe. This is because it's impinged within three millimeters of that shank. But in fact, the toolpath would have been correct and fine. Now, using the new functionality in PowerMill 2012, we can now eliminate that uncertainty. When I activate the new toolpath, do the dynamic section exactly the same as we did before. We can see that when we position the tool in exactly the same place, the tool status now is safe, even though we've maintained the same distance on the tool holder of 3mm, but we've now reduced that clearance to 0.1 on the shank. So we know we can machine that with total confidence, reassuring the operator. When we open up the settings and see where this is within the form, Underholder profile, shank clearance 0.1 millimeters, and a holder clearance of 3 millimeters, as graphically reproduced here. This is the benefit of the new separate shank and holder clearance in PowerMill 2012.